And that oil field has already 13 wells that have been developed. Those 13 wells are producing. I think 11 out of the 13 wells are already producing. All right, so one can really say that your success in the oil and gas sector is based on your innovation in the operational space, okay? All right, all right. Let's talk about um, your manifesto. Even before your unveiling of your manifesto at Godfrey Okoye University, you are quoted as promising to make Inigo State one of the oil and gas production states. It is there in your manifesto. Yeah. It was awesome. So, uh, but we know that up to now that Inigo State is here to procure mining rights to mine her coal from the federal government. So, how do you intend to achieve this based on the, the, the financial, heavy financial commitment involved and also the social, economic, and environmental risk factors involved in that? How do you intend to achieve this? So, the making a Nugu state an oil bearing and producing state, it's obviously something that even this, this current government has started pursuing for some time now. Don't forget that we have the OPL 916, mm. which is co-owned by Enugu and Kogi, right? So it's an oil field with a lateral formation, okay? And that oil field has already 13 wells that have been developed. Those 13 wells are producing. I think 11 out of the 13 wells are already producing. Okay. So Anambra, as a result of that, has been designated as an oil producing state, right? We are in court, already in the Supreme Court, okay. making sure, because the argument is that the formation, even though the wells may not be in Enugu, yeah. but the source of the production okay. is in Enugu. Okay, okay. And so that's why I said it has a lateral formation, okay. because some of the formations are vertical. You have to drill, some of them you have to do a horizontal okay. drilling to extract. So that is the case of OPL 916. So we're saying that we are going to pursue, follow the lead that this current government is already, but we'll build on that because we understand the industry very well and ensure that Enugu State becomes an oil bearing and producing state within one year of our administration. However, we also do have three gas fields, established gas fields in Enugu that are exclusively owned by Enugu. We have the OPL 915, 914, we have OPL 914, right? We have OPL 905, 914 is in Ozowane, 905 and 907 is in Oji, are in Oji River, right? 914, these are, we have the seismic data of these fields and they are largely gas fields. They have huge deposits of gas resources. So talking about clean energy, the, the world indeed have recognized that gas may be excluded from the energy transition that we're talking about because it's not as obnoxious, it's not as dangerous as the other uh, hydrocarbon is, you know, if you look at uh, crude, if you look at um, um, diesel, gasoline and the rest of them, they are a lot, they are a lot, they are dirtier okay. than the, the gas. So gas may be excluded from the energy okay. transit. So if you, have a, if you have gas resources, you're still able to assess finance to exploit yeah. Yeah. Okay. and explore them, yeah. okay? okay? And that's what we're saying, that we need to explore our gas assets so that we can create a lot of, or because there are, it's going to be ripple effect from Enugu producing yeah. gas. Yeah. We're going to have gas processing plants. 
So even the natural gas we're producing can be processed as the LPG, the liquefied petroleum gas that we use for cooking, okay. right? Yeah. There are a lot of other, we can also process it as the, the compressed natural gas okay. yeah. that we can use to power our industries mm -hmm. and all that, you know. It's still safer to the environment to use gas than diesel to power your generator yeah. and all that. So if we're producing gas here and we have that feed locally, yeah. it means that we're actually promoting clean energy in Enugu State. But beyond that, in, under the plans we have in the energy resources, in the energy sector mm -hmm. that we're proposing, there's going to be a new sector that okay. is known as energy and mineral resources okay. sector. We also have plans for clean energy to produce clean energy to power our captive industries. Mm -hmm. So for, for example, we have plants for biomass, okay. we're going to use for cooking. We have plants for hydro, um, hydro power energy. We also have plants for wind energy and for solar energy. So those are renewable energies. Mm -hmm. and, and we do have plans to explore those because our topography lend, lends itself to the use of those clean means of energy. So when we talk about captive markets, so we can have, for example, an industrial park and we would use those clean or renewable energy, if you will, to power that, that industrial park. We can identify hospital and we say, you know what, we can use our solar energy, we can use our wind, wind uh, energy to power that hospital or schools, colleges and all that too. So catchment power sources is what we hope to create. Okay. And we're also mindful of the environment because we yes. know the hazard yeah. of uh, the uh, depleting the ozone layer further, yeah. what is already creating the, the challenges that uh, the, or the impact is having on our climate. Okay. So.